Have you ever watched Best Gore? Best Gore is like all these videos of the terrible things happening in the world. People getting their heads chopped off or like drug cartels chopping people up with chainsaws or people getting shot in the face and all that kind of stuff. I watch all these things and I don't watch them because I'm kind of, some kind of sicko. I watch them to try and desensitize myself. Because imagine one day you're sitting in Paris, you're sitting there having a fucking coffee and terrorists roll through with AKs and the person next to you has their brains blown out. You're going to stand there and be like, waiting to die like a motherfucker. I'm going to be like, bang, oh, I've seen that before. Okay, boom, boom, duck and dive in. Take one terrorist out next, get the AK, go Rambo, take out all of fucking Pakistan with a G. I don't play games. So I desensitize myself to these things so that if I ever see them in real life, they do not scare me. But when you watch Best Score, one of the things you know is, is that sneak attacks happen in this world. Because if someone's going to like rob you or kill you or whatever, whatever, they don't give a fuck about honor. These are honorless people. They'll just walk up on you from behind with a machete. Bam! One shot to the neck out of nowhere. And this is for this, it's for this reason that I do not like and I will never ever wear headphones in public. When you put your headphones in and you're walking down the street listening to your music, you are a fucking target. Now, you may live in a safe area, but if you're watching this from England, you don't live in a safe place. People get stabbed there all the fucking time. You are losing one of your most important sensory perceptions. I'll tell you something, man. I've been jumped four times. And every time I was jumped, I didn't see it coming, but I heard it coming. You're walking, and you hear those footsteps coming behind you. You're like, whoa, that's your chance. That's all you got. That's your chance to not fucking die. And instead of doing that, you want to listen to cold play in your fucking ears like a little dickhead? Every time I see someone with their fucking earphones on, just sitting there with their earphones on, it's garbage. It's insanity. You wouldn't walk through life blind. Why are you walking through life deaf? Is your music so important? People say to me, when I say this to people, they go, oh yeah, but you're paranoid. Listen, maybe I am paranoid, but I'm alive, motherfuckers. You're alive too, but you live in some bullshit part of the world. I've been to 72 countries. I've been from Iraq to Kishinaa, Moldova, to Transnistria, where I was arrested as a spy. I've been fucking walking around with 100,000 euros in Moscow. I've been doing shit you have not done. And I'm still alive. And the reason I'm alive is because I am perspicacious. I'm not going to cut off one of my senses for some bullshit music. There's nothing more, and there's nothing those headphones can tell me that's more important than staying the fuck alive. And hearing things is actually just as important as seeing things in about 85% of situations. If you see someone with headphones in, what you're looking at is a little cuck, a little pussy, a little loser who doesn't ever consider the fact that they can get knocked the fuck out. Next time you see someone with headphones in on the train or whatever, think, if I were to walk right up to him and smash him clean in the face, he wouldn't have a fucking clue it's coming. Because that's the reality. So next time you're sitting there thinking, oh, oh, I really want to listen to this, and you start getting your headphones out of your bag, realize you're making yourself target number one. You're advertising to the world that you are not combat ready. We live in a fucking combative world, gentlemen. You can't be fucking walking through life with your fucking earphones in. Oh, new Britney Spears song. Fuck you.